Hello everyone. In your earlier classes, you might have studied that a median divides a triangle into two triangles of equal areas. So in this question, we have to verify that whether this result is true or not for the triangle ABC whose all the coordinates A, B, C are given to us. So let us first draw the triangle here. So this is the triangle. A coordinate is 4 comma minus 6, B coordinate is 3 comma minus 2 and C coordinate is 5 comma 2. And we have to find out that whether the median, so let's first draw the median. So this is the median M and let's say that its coordinates are X comma Y. Now we have to find out that whether this median is dividing this triangle ABC into two triangles of equal areas. So we have to prove that the area of triangle ABM is equals to area of triangle AMC. This we have to prove. And we easily can find out the area of any triangle by our formula. So let us first calculate the coordinates of this point M. Now since we know that M is the midpoint of BC, so we can apply the midpoint formula and we also know that it divides BC in ratio 1 comma 1. So we can apply the midpoint formula to find the coordinates of point M. So let's find out. So this is x1 plus x2 by 2, x1 is 3 and x2 is 5 whole upon 2 comma y1 is minus 2 and y2 is plus 2 whole divided by 2. And now if we further solve this, 5 plus 3 will be 8, 8 by 2 will be 4 and this term will come out to be 0. So the coordinates of point M will come out to be 4 comma 0. So let's mark them to be 4 comma 0. And now if you will observe, we know all the coordinates of triangle ABM and also the coordinates of triangle ACM. And we can easily find out the areas of these two triangles since we know a formula of area of triangle. We remembered the formula by the two ways. First was the serial order. You always have to remember the serial order. So first comes the x1 in bracket comes the y2 minus y3 plus x2 then comes y3 minus y1 plus x3 and then comes y1 minus y2 and we multiply this whole term y1 by 2. Then our second method of remembering the formula was that we write all the coordinates in the form x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3, x1 y1 and then we draw these arrows and then the arrows pointing from left to right we used to take them positive and the arrows which were coming from right to left these arrows we used to take negative so this formula came out now we can apply these two formulas to calculate the areas of these two triangles we can use any formula to calculate it now let's use first method to calculate the area of triangle abm so we can calculate it this will be half bracket now x1 value is 4 and this is the value of y2 is minus 2 minus 0 plus then comes x2 so this will be x2 value is 3 and in bracket will come y3 y3 is 0 and minus minus 6 and the third will also come here plus x3 x3 is 4 and this will be y1 minus y2 so y1 is minus 6 minus minus 2 and let's solve this so this will be half now if we solve this this is 4 into minus 2 so let's write it this way plus 3 bracket this is 0 minus of minus 6 so this will become positive so this will be 0 plus 6 is 6 and plus 4 similarly 
this minus 6 minus of minus 2. So this will become plus 2. Plus 2 minus 6 will come out to be minus 4. So this will come out to be minus 4. Now let's solve this. So this will be half bracket. This is minus 8 plus 18 and this will be 4 into minus 4 is minus 16. And now if we solve this further, this comes out to be this will be minus 8 minus 16 will be minus 24 and plus 18 will come out to be minus 6. So this comes out to be minus 6 by 2 or we can say minus 3. Now we are getting the value of area to be minus 3. But we know very well that area can only be a positive quantity. So we'll just drop the negative sign and we get the area of triangle to be 3 units. So now we can calculate the area of triangle ACM by applying the second method. Now to apply the second method, we have to convert its coordinates in the form of x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and x1, y1. So write, let's write down its coordinate in this form. So now we can easily form, find out the area of triangle to be half and this will be 4 into 0 minus this will be minus 6 into 4 and plus now this will be 4 into 2 minus 0 into 5 and then again plus this will be 5 into minus 6 and minus 2 into 4. And now we can solve this to find out the area of this triangle. So this will be half. Now this will be 0 and this will be minus 24 and minus 24 and it will be multiplied with a minus again. So it will be plus 24. So 24 this will be 8 plus 8 this will be minus 30 and this will be minus 8. So this will get cancelled and this will come out to be minus 30 plus 24 will come out to be minus 6 and we divide it by 2 this will be again minus 3. So again we are getting the area to be negative and area cannot be negative so we'll drop off the negative sign. So area of this triangle is also coming out to be plus 3. So we can verify the result that a median divides the original triangle into two triangles which have equal areas.